Hey, praise the Lord, thanks to the most high God. <laughs> we probably cut in right there, <sighs> chopped off introduction. <laughs> That's all right, mm. praise God. He's good. Yes, God is so faithful, he so takes care of his own. He's so good, he's so good, oh the Lord is so good. Let's sing to him now, let's sing to him now. The Lord is so good, he's so good, he's so good. We thank you, Lord, for who you are. And we bow to you, O Holy One. We bow to you, O Holy One. We bow to you, O Holy One. You are so good. Hallelujah. That's right. Hallelujah. <coughs> Today's message, being ready to finish. We're going to talk about being ready to finish. Father God, thank you today for the King's Road broadcast that you've given to us to give to your people. To remind us, Lord, that we are on your road, the narrow way. And you call us, Lord, to walk with you in peace. You call us to walk with you in contentment. Hallelujah. And Lord, we just bless you for the fact that you are the Prince of Peace. Hallelujah. The king of contentment. Oh, hallelujah, Lord. You are content in who you are. You're the mighty God. You got no fears. You got no worries. You got no doubts. No discouragements. Oh, God, you're the mighty God. Holy God. Living God. And you live in us. And therefore, we should be like you, Lord. Lord, we pray that you will so invigorate your people today. That we remember, Lord, that it's your work, what you are doing, for your great name's sake and for your pleasure. Hallelujah. We bless you today, Lord. And just crush that dragon down under our feet, Lord. And just annihilate all his power. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. <coughs> Manifest it to be so. Amen. Being ready to finish. Being ready to finish. Back in 2003, we had a shortwave radio broadcast, and it was the final call broadcast on shortwave, and Sharon did a message on, are you ready to finish, right? Or the Lord gave you that back then. Yeah, I remember uh, when we had our business, and we were doing some work for a place. Company, yeah, ready to finish furniture. And we... <laughs> the Lord had us move out of Oklahoma City into the country, and they let us use their truck, their ready-to-finish truck. And the Lord just spoke so clear to me. He said, are you ready to finish? Are you ready to finish? Woo, are buddy. you ready to finish? That was like the beginning of the right, finish. Right, right. <laughs> and w that's what we're looking to, the finish line. That's right. And we're going to make it to the finish Amen. line. He said, I'm able to make you stand, stand and keep you, and from, keep you from falling. falling. Hallelujah. And to present you faultless, faultless before the throne. Amen. Now, see, see? We, we can look at those things and we think, well, I can't make it, Lord. Oh, I'm, you know, <laughs> whatever. Oh, yes, we can. Because yes, he we said can. we can. Amen. And he's given us the power and he's got us by the hand. That's right. As long as we stay as long as in we the stay king's road. Yeah. Okay. If we get out of the King's Road, then all those forces of darkness and stuff are able to attack us in, in such ways that we succumb, you see? I mean, if I if I put one foot off the road, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, hey, you know, here I am, enemy, you know, and the enemy comes in and tries to get me, you see what I mean? It doesn't and, mean that we won't be attacked as going in the right way. That's right. But... Uh, it sure is going to be a, a whole lot more of an attack. That's right. If we get off the path and we get into disobedience of some kind. That's right. And we decide that we want to go our way instead of God's way or whatever. And if we do that, the way is going to be a lot harder for us. That's so right. the Lord, he gives us instructions and he's doing it because he loves us. 
and he wants us to be walking in the right way. That's he right. wants us to be going the right way and to prevent any stuff from <coughs> happening that wouldn't happen otherwise if we were walking in the right way. Hallelujah. See, and it's all because of his love. Oh, hallelujah. So, Amen. All because of his love. See, that's the key right there. He loved us. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, Matthew chapter 11, I'm going to give you the first thing here. Look at look at this. This is so important that we do this, okay? Because I'm telling you right now, this is a time when God's people, looking at all the things coming on the earth, they can be coming under a weight. It's a weight of fear, doubt, discouragement, and worry. Those things and other things, many other things, looking at those things coming on the earth. Now, saints, remember, Jesus said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. Okay? You want to be ready to finish? Go to Jesus right now. Kneel down before him every day and say, Jesus, I love you. I give myself to you a living sacrifice, holy, well-pleasing in thy sight. I pray, spirit, soul, and body, Lord, use me today for your glory. And I need you, Lord. Right, I need you, I yeah. cannot go through and, this and then he day says, without Come you. unto me, okay, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Mm -hmm. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Hallelujah. See, the burden of this world is not light. That's right. But the Lord's burden, the Lord says, my burden is light. Hallelujah. You know, think of this, you said about the yoke. My yoke is easy. Think about the oxen, how when they hook them up, you know, those yokes, those two oxen are right there. And they don't go anywhere or do anything without the other one. That's right. Do they? And so that's what the Lord wants with us. You know, we stay with him. We abide with him. We abide in the vine. Then we're not going to be veering off one way or another that he's not going. If we're yoked up to him. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So important, too, that we remember that. We say, oh, thank you, God. Now, we're going to go over to... <coughs> See, Jesus said, I will give you rest. Okay? You should find rest unto your souls. This is how you're going to be ready to finish. I'm telling you right now, to enter into the rest. Hebrews chapter 4. And this is so important. So we're going to check this out. Look at, look at Hebrews 4. Saints, we want to be ready, you know? We want to all be ready. Jesus is coming. And you know what? We want to be ready for today's labor. What What does today's labor entail for the kingdom? Okay? When God has you go to the store, when God has you wherever he has you going to work or whatever, or meeting people on the job where you're working, and the Lord has you doing various things, maybe with family members or whatever, wherever, whenever, you want to be ready. See? Amen. You want to be a ready vessel. What does he say? Ready to do what? To give an answer. Right. To those who ask for yeah. the hope that it, lies within you. You know, we're to be ready. We're to be. We've said this so many times because it's so true. Just be an available vessel. A willing vessel. And, <coughs> and God will just put you where he wants you at any certain time. That's right. And it's not in this big marquee kind of deal, attitude, mindset. It's my life is the Lord's. And wherever I go and whatever I do, Lord, I'm your vessel. Use me however you want to. That's right. Praise God. So Hebrews chapter 4, begin reading, Sharon. Let us therefore fear. That's a holy reverence. Lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest any of you should seem to come short of it. Oh, we do not want to come short of it. Oh, man. For unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. It's important 
to hear the word of the Lord. You know, people can sit in church and hear preaching year after year after year. But there's a type of unbelief in their heart that maybe they really don't believe what they're hearing or they're not hearing it. The truth of what's being preached. It has to be mixed with faith. That's right. Believe. Believe what the word says. If you're sitting there trying to figure out and and pinpoint every little thing of what you're hearing, trying to maybe find fault with it or a loophole, a loophole or... out, maybe you're uh, in sin or something and you're just trying to find a way out so you can feel better. And that word is just penetrating and penetrating. We have to believe the word. And believe what it says. Because whether people do believe it or not, it's going to come to pass. God's word is true. That's right. And what he said is true. And it's going to come to pass whether people believe it or not. But he wants you to believe it. Hallelujah. He wants all of us to believe it. That's right. That's where the power is. Belief and trust in him. Doubt is the devil's tool. The biggest tool besides fear that he uses if he can get that seed of doubt in. Right. Discouragement. Or doubt. discouragement, yeah. you know, and yeah. despondency and all that stuff. We just have to throw that off and say, get behind me, Satan. My God will. That's right. My God said. That's right. Amen. Period. Verse 3. For we... Let me get this up here. For we which have believed do... Oh, wow. Listen to this. <laughs> For we which have believed do enter into rest. Did as, you hear that? As he said. Let me read that again. Right. For we which have believed do, do enter, enter into rest. Into rest. As he said. Mm. As I have sworn in my wrath if they shall enter into, into my, my rest. rest. Although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. All the works of God. See, God, everything that is happening today, God saw it all. I mean, God knows everything. You see what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell you right now, God is in control. Jehovah is controlling all the events in this earth today. Hallelujah. He hasn't lost control. People think, oh, when's God going to show up? Oh, God's already here. He's in us. He's in his people. We need to be praying and, and seeking him and and just, oh, hallelujah, you were doing that message about uh, warfare. Yesterday, was it yesterday? On the on the morning devotional, powerful word, great reminder, great admonition of standing, stand, 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 having the full armor of God on, amen? Yeah. And see, you enter into rest, okay? God's In works were finished from the foundation of the world. Verse 4. And faith, I was... Yeah. Faith is the key. See, it's talking about that here, too. Right. Faith is key. Truth. Uh, righteousness. Shield. The sh- you know, gospel of peace on your feet. Mm-hmm. And then faith. Shielding you from it's the head shield. to the bottom. It's a door. It's like a door-shaped shield. Hallelujah. Faith. Well, I was talking the other day about entering into the door. Have you come through the door? Are you going into the house deeper? See, you can be ready. You can know I'm ready to finish today, today, today. One day at a time. One day at a time. Amen? You know, it says here, which have believed. Those which have believed do enter into rest. What does the Bible say? There is no rest. For the wicked. For the wicked. Amen. You can't enter into rest unless you believe. That's right. You have to be a born again believer. That's right. Preach it. Repent of your sins. Be born again. Be new. Have a new heart. Before you can enter into rest. Keep reading this now. Verse 4. Let's see. For he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise. And God did rest the seventh day. From all his works. 
And in this place again, if they shall enter into my rest. If they shall enter into my rest. Verse 6. Seeing therefore it remaineth that some must, must enter in therein. And they to whom it was first preached entered, entered not in because, because of unbelief. Because of what? Unbelief. Unbelief. They didn't believe. Okay. They didn't enter into the rest because of unbelief. And that word there in the scripture, in the Strong's, it means disbelief, obstinate, obstinate and rebellious. Disobedience. disobedience unbelief. Unbelief. Mm -mm -mm. So it encompasses That's right. all those things. Unbelief. Verse and 7. We also have to be careful ourselves not to get into unbelief. About any certain thing. Amen. Again, he limited a certain day, saying in David, Today, after so long a time, as it is said, Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, hallelujah. Are you hearing his voice? Are you hearing his voice today? In this word that we're speaking the word of God. Are you hearing his voice? Do you know his word is his voice? I love him. Then don't harden your heart against it. For if Jesus had given them rest, then would he not afterward have spoken of another day as the eternal day, Amen. I believe. And this is the, the verse 8 that's talking about Joshua, okay, going into the promised land, okay. Jesus and Joshua is the same name. Hallelujah. Okay, verse 9. There remaineth therefore, oh, listen, children of God. There remaineth therefore a rest to the people of God. Mm. A Sabbath rest. Hallelujah. <laughs> To the people of God. For he that is entered into his rest. His rest. See we enter into his rest. That's what I'm saying. God's not worried. God's not afraid. He ain't fearful. He ain't lacking. He ain't, I mean he's, he's almighty God. He's almighty. Okay. The cattle on a thousand hills belongs to God. All our gold and silver belongs to God. All the diamonds in the world and all the jewels and rubies and pearls and everything belongs to Yahweh. Amen. Cattle on a thousand. A thousand hills. I'm telling you, he owns it all. Hallelujah. For he that is entered, entered into, into his, his rest, rest, he also has ceased from his own, from work his own works as God, as God did, did from, from his. his. You know what? That just boomed right out at me right there. For he that is entered into his rest... He also has ceased from his own works. What does that mean? It means when we're walking in his rest and working in his rest, we're not striving to get up the hill, so to speak, you know, because we're in his rest. So when we do things in his rest, now he just reminded me of this. It's like, Sharon, did you? You hearing this? <laughs> everything that you do in the work that you do and everything, you can be in the rest of the Lord. And stuff can get done just miraculously fast. Right. And in an easy manner when we stay in his rest. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and see, because sometimes we have so much to do and it seems so overwhelming. And the Lord just says, no. No, you just do one be thing. in my rest. In my rest. Don't worry. That's where it begins. Don't worry about you it. Be or in my rest. Else. That's yeah. where it starts. Yeah. Be in my rest, and then do that one thing, and do that other thing. See, be in His rest. I think where some get into such trouble in the walk is that they just think they have to do it. And, okay, and now that, that's the mindset scenario. You ready? You ready for the scenario? Okay. <laughs> I got so much to do. I got so much to do. Oh, man, I got to get it done, you know, and everything. And, and then God speaks a word to you. 
I don't want you to do anything today. Just mm. enter into my rest. Yeah. And just just Read be with Bible me today. Pray. Yeah. Yeah. And you go. You looking around? Is that really you, God? You know. <laughs> I gotta do this and that. And the Lord says, "No, I really do want you just to just sit before me today. Just meditate upon me." Okay, Lord. When you do that, when God says that you do it, what happens? It energizes you. And then the next day comes, and you get twice as much done the next day. That's the way When you're works. obedient to God today. See? Mm -hmm. Being ready to finish means we're entering into his rest. We're believing. We're trusting him. Amen? Hallelujah. Verse 11. You know, I think of that little uh, <coughs> Christian movie we watched last night on computer, YouTube, or no, Tubi.com, and they have little free movies there, we watch Christian movies, faith-based movies, and th that reminds me, this little girl, you know, something happened to her father, and she had faith in God, man, such a simple <laughs> faith in God, she just knew God was going to take care of her, and she was really in a strait, she would just thank God for, for each thing that happened. And, and then she would, she also prayed her father would be released and stuff. And she just had faith. She just, she was expecting and waiting right. that God would answer. And it, and that's what the Lord wants. All of us to just trust us, him. us. To him. trust him and right. just know, and just know that he's going to come through. And you know he gives us opportunities to do that every day. Amen. Sometimes it's he takes you right to the precipice, <laughs> right to the very cliff of everything, and then boom, he delivers. Hallelujah! But let's have faith and believe him, even in those hard times, Amen. difficult times, in dark times. Sometimes there's it seems dark. The enemy tries to come in with this dark cloud to cover everything, you know. And even in those times, let's just walk through that uh, alley, so to speak, because we got a light that's guiding us. Hallelujah. We Hallelujah. gotta, we gotta know, you know, because see, and listen to verse eleven. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest, the rest of the Lord, where we cease from our labors, lest any man fall. After the same example of unbelief. See, unbelief is what's keeping many people from having rest. Unbelief. You say, well, John, I'm a believer, but I'm just all agitated all the time. Well, it's because you're not trusting the Lord. See, you got to surrender all that agitation to God. you got to surrender all the people that are making you agitated. You got to surrender all the events you see happening in this world that are making you agitated. You got to surrender everything to God. See, and I mean it. You got to surrender it all and enter into His rest. And you'll be ready to finish this day. See, you'll be able to give that answer that someone needs. You'll be able to touch a brother and sister in Christ in the Spirit and help them along the journey. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, when we really, when we really give it all to the Lord, <coughs> just lay whatever it is going on in His hands and give Him, get it to Him totally, and then just walk away from that thing. Walk away from it and just, when you really give something to Him, you're not going to go back over there and pick it back up about a million times a day. No, you leave it there with Him. And you, and you just walk away from it and... You have rest. All right. See, that's that's the deal. If we don't have rest, that's what's happening. We're not, we're, like you said, we're not giving it all to Him. Right. We are really not laying it all at His feet that's if we're right. in unrest. Now, sometimes in the Spirit, you can sense things. You can sense other people in the body of Christ which might be going through that. You can sense the events. You can sense that in the spirit. Maybe there's an unsettledness in your spirit and you just know something bad is wrong or happening or whatever. Right. Well, that should not make us get into anxiety. That should bring us to our knees. Right. 
and worship and praise and, and adoration for that and person. Praying Lord, and touch also, that person, right, Father. Right, getting into Help warfare against that thing. You know, sometimes the Lord will bring you something or show you something, and the reason is He wants you to pray against it or get uh, pray for somebody or whatever. Right, right. We have to keep these things in mind exactly. that He's taught us over the years. Exactly. You know, you, when you surrender to the Lord, you watch the Lord just do mighty things in your life. I'm telling you. And it's so awesome to see Him do it. And sometimes the changes that the Lord will bring in your life are like, and they, they just kind of blindside you, and you have to kind of regroup. You know what I mean? And you have to get just, just really sink into the Lord and say, Oh, God, give me understanding about this. Give me understanding. And he will, see? He's waiting for us to cry out to him for understanding, to cry out to him for that. Because, see, he's given us the anointing that teaches us all things and shows us all things, and we know all things. Just enter into the rest, and all is well. I'm telling you right now, it doesn't matter what's going on in the world. We need to remember this, see? And then we're going to be ready to finish. We're going to be ready. We're, we're ready. Being ready to finish means we've entered into the rest, we're staying in the king's road, we're walking in the narrow way. We're dying to self. We're taking up our cross daily. We're following him. And we're saying, oh God, have it your way. Have it your way. We want your way. Lord, it's the best way. And our reward is great in heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm -hmm. And he has a great reward for all of us. Every one of us. Hallelujah. And I mean, that's the, just the, the greatest reward is to see his face, saints. To see his face. Hallelujah. And just, just to be in his presence. That's that's reward right there. Amen. Hallelujah. You want to say any more? Come on. <laughs> thank you. Hallelujah. The Lord's good. Pray, honey. Thank you, Father. Father, God. I thank you for this message. And I thank you for giving us this reminder today, Lord, to enter into your rest. Oh, yes. And to really enter into your rest, Father. To lay <coughs> everything that may be causing any kind of anxiety or anything or pain or grief or anything else just to lay it completely at your feet yes. literally and if we do that then we're going to walk away from that we're not going to pick it back up Amen. help us not Thank to pick it Lord. back up today but leave it there with you Lord and Thank trust you that you will take care of everything that you are over everything you see everything and help us to stay strong. Yes. Encourage, Lord. Help your people to be strong today. Encourage and bold in your word, Lord. In Thank Jesus' you. name, Hallelujah. amen. Amen. Glory to the King. Hallelujah. Oh, I what a blessed word. Thank you, Jesus. I want to thank the Lord for those that support this work. I really want to thank him for, for them, Lord that count this work important to God and important to them. And I thank you for all those that pray for us. That's a very important work. Yeah. And, you know, that that's like foundational things. And I thank the Lord for that. You know, we all need to pray more. We all need to lift each other up more. And we all need to always have the right response to a request for prayer. Amen. We always need to have the right response. Amen. And the right response to a request for prayer is... To pray. To pray. <laughs> and if you have the means to be the answer to that prayer, you need to be... Stepping up to the plate. Amen. And that's what God wants us to do. Because he's watching all of us. He's watching all of our hearts. He's watching all of our actions. It's like he's saying, are you going to do what I have already said to do in, the, in my word? Are you going to be obedient to me? And available to me? That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. And if you want to contact us, you can write... The King's Road 2000 at gmail.com. The King's Road 2000 at gmail.com. And be sure and look at the links on this 
link that you're listening to. There's links to all the YouTube channels and the blogs and the MP3 sites and all the places the Lord has had us put the word. You know, a word for today that's really going to make a difference is a word from the Holy Spirit. Amen. If the Holy Spirit is not in the word, you might as well be clanging that gong because it's not going to go past the ceiling. That's right. And it's sure not going to pierce the heart. That's why I say, you know, we don't want to do anything or go anywhere except the Holy Spirit go with us. And if he's not with us, even in the preaching and teaching, why would we want to go there? Amen. It's only by his spirit that anything is made a difference of. Hallelujah. He's the one that saves. He's the one that penetrates the heart. He's the one that changes the heart. That's right. He's the one that keeps us. Amen. And leads us, guides us, and Amen. feeds us. And he's everything. It's all about him, you know. It is. When I hear people and they're talking so much about their self and this and that, I said, Lord, help them to see what the real truth is because it's not about self. And it's not anything about ourself. It is all about Him. Amen. And His glory. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord bless you, saints, and keep you. Make his holy face to shine upon you. The Lord our God lift up his holy countenance upon you, grant you peace, and the Lord be gracious unto you. His name, that's his authority, his character, his dominion, his rule and his reign, his rest, be in and upon you today as you go forward conquering and to conquer in the mighty humility of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Glory to the Father. Hallelujah. Amen.